this up. FX4, you know, whatever. There's a lot going on with this game. And when we summed up all the pieces and we looked at the big picture, we realized that we were actually really rebooting Pinball FX. Okay, I'm going to pause it right there. Keyword, Mel saying, we are really rebooting Pinball FX. <laughs> Reboot's a pretty big thing. It's not just a continuation, a flip. It reboot Next version, right? Reboot entails a lot. Um, so keep that in mind with everything else that Mel says. Um, and we needed to just kind of start over from scratch. We have new technology we're working in. There's new consoles. New technology we're working in and new consoles. Well, not quite. We'll, we'll get to the new technology part, but new consoles. Yeah, yeah PS Five. The new yeah. Xbox. Oh. Uh, Nintendo hasn't officially come out and said anything yet, but the rumors are rife that there's going to be a Switch Pro. Oh, they've been saying that for years. <laughs> but no, I mean, like, but, the, you know, the steam is gathering with there being a Switch Pro coming. Yeah, it, so. it makes sense for them to do it. It's well and truly up for a reboot. Like, the yeah. hardware is getting a bit old now. Yeah, okay. Um, let, so it does need let's, let's see what else he has to say. I consider this our next-gen platform. Um, there's a lot of new features. There's maybe some new business models. Ah, maybe there's some new business models. Let's pause on that for a moment. Because, <laughs> Jared, people are freaking out <laughs> over... Yes. Possible new business models. People are going, oh my God, it's going to be subscription. It's, it's going to be a freemium game. I'm yep. not going to be able to own my pinball. Yep. Let's, um, let's lower the temperature, folks, because I'm not saying that subscription stuff might not be here, but as a whole, I don't think they're going to turn on all the consoles and on the PC and on mobile, and everything across it, they're going to ditch everything that they've done for the past 14 years and go with a completely different kind of service that everybody no. would scream bloody murder over. So No, because they know that people don't like it, Yeah, really. For, for, like, for the main stuff that you want to be playing all the time, you know, your tables, everything, people want to actually get permanent entitlements to those. Now, I don't say own them, because you, you never own anything with DLCs. You have a right to use it. Yeah. And people don't, that's another thing that people don't get. Like when you go and buy a pack through Steam, that's a license for you to use the software. It doesn't mean you own the software. Just remember that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to actually go again. We'll unpack some of this even further a little bit later mm. on. But let's keep on going on with, uh, with what this is. This new feature like Pinball Real. And so it just didn't really fit into the FX3 framework. And as the game wasn't pa is not packaged the way that you knew it from before. So it is a total reboot. I expect this will be a platform that we support for the next huge phase. You know, you're not going to see FX2 come. Consoles are operating differently now. Technology changes much faster. And so uh, to support that, you just need a game that can operate across platforms. That's really what FX is designed to do. So there you go. It's... They're they're taking into consideration the future of every other, you know, whatever this game can be playing being played on. Um, mm. You know, there is like you said specifically, it's not FX two just becoming FX three with you know slightly different upgrade of graphics and that's it. Um, mm. You know, it, it, it it's literally taking all we've learned about pinball since we started doing pinball. And turning that into a brand new experience. Right. Now, it's, it's... you think about this too. Zen just announced, and it obviously was in the works for a while, that they, you know, got bought out by, what was that name? Embracer Group, I think? Embracer. Yeah, yeah. by Embracer. Um, Mel talked about having to have a 10-year plan. I suspect that a lot of priorities got shifted because <laughs> we didn't think that probably we didn't think that there was going to be a new pinball effects version anytime soon. Um, it didn't no. didn't seem to really warrant it, other than people wanting online play. But other than that, nobody was complaining about per se about the graphics. Um, no, I mean they were the, the engine they're using you know, up until this announcement is 
been pretty good. Like it's the the graphics are perfectly reasonable. I mean, it was able to handle the the new physics like changes they were doing pretty well. So, you know, it probably wasn't like it wasn't like to the point where if you compare that with Farsight, when we were saying you you guys really need to look at a new engine, right? Because yours is aging badly. It wasn't nearly to that point. No, because I mean they just done the refresh uh, from FX2 to FX3. That was a yeah, refresh. That was yeah, yeah. And that was that was only three years ago, I think. Yeah. Um so, so pretty I, much it was pretty much aligned with the new consoles back then, right? Like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was at the yeah. it was at the PS3, PS4 shift. Mm. Um so I I really think that this I don't know why merger, I guess is a good term for it. Um mm. probably accelerated plans and reprioritized so. where they were basically saying, hey, you guys need to be on top of <laughs> these new consoles. And here's an influx of cash to let you pay for doing that. Because that's yeah. the hardest thing. When you stop what you're doing in order to do the next thing, well, you probably need to hire a whole bunch more people if you don't want to stop completely the other. And yeah. that re that requires a whole new set of capital. Well, boom, all of a sudden you got a group that says... Here's some capital. Make it happen. Um, well, there's two ways, right? So you could you could do it the way you said, or you could like stop really releasing as much content as you normally do for a year and work out what you do. Right. right? So you don't necessarily have to release anything if you're sitting on a big nest egg of cash from a uh, uh, an investor, essentially, because you've got the money there to, to pay people mm -hmm. and keep the lights on. So... Hmm. Interesting. So yeah. Anyway, that's kind of uh, that. Now, let's let's go ahead and uh, th that was kind of the overview of what Mel hmm. was talking about of everything that was was going to be coming into this. Um, let's go into the next part. See what he has to say there because I wound up the the, the pinball effects the the, or the pinball effects show <laughs> the pinball show um, didn't. Give all the information. There is some more information that wound up popping up on Reddit and Discord, and I wound up swimming through some of that to try and expand upon things that Mel is saying. Um, let's see exactly what he's saying next, and maybe we can get into some of that. Uh, you know, the platform question is difficult right now. We're announcing, you know, the game a little early because uh, we just wanted to get conversational about it. I would love to confirm platforms. I mean, ideally, I can tell you exactly where this is going to ship. There's a lot of business in this game because we have so much licensed content. Okay, so, yeah. Not saying what platforms it's going to be on. Part of that is because of all the licensing that they're mm -hmm. having to deal with. So, think about this. <laughs> Again, if they are... If Nintendo is coming out with a Nintendo Pro Switch... They Obviously, wouldn't be able to talk about that. Right. They can't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so that's no, that's no, they're going to they're wait. Can, yeah, they're going to wait for Nintendo to say, yes, you can now talk about that. It's the same case with the uh, Arcade 1-Up. Zen couldn't say anything about Arcade 1-Up until Arcade 1-Up said something about yeah they're running the show yeah like, there's Santa a just lot the of game. licensing going on here um you've seen how mm. kg mel has been regarding the mandalorian table saying yeah, i can that, I, mean, uh, I can say just... there's a mandalorian table i can say it's supposed that's to be it. in spring that's it i'm not saying anything <laughs> else all... because I'm don't want to tick of off death Lu... <laughs> yeah don't want to tick off lucasfilm <laughs> mm. it's... no that's not something you want to like mess around with right and again no. this is part of the expansion and growing of their company having been expanded upon or bought out by embracer we're looking at a much larger scope of things so if you're wondering why the information here is a little bit cagey and and not complete it's veiled for a reason yeah like they've got to be super careful at the moment until all the ducks are nicely in a row and they can <laughs> and it's publicly known knowledge from the actual person or group or company that's actually producing the console or the thing. Right. It's announcements are hard. So, so I wanted to, 